Today, there are 1.3 billion people living in India. According to official statistics, 95% of those people are unreached, meaning that around a billion people in India might never have heard the gospel before. Most of these people live in India's 650,000 unreached villages. So India is in desperate need of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Here at the Elijah Challenge, we are committed to bringing this good news to all of India. Since 2015, we have planted 106 house churches, we've held 228 evangelistic and training events, 4,559 believers and servants of God have been trained to share the gospel, and over 54,000 people have come into a relationship with Jesus Christ during our events. The Lord is using the Elijah Challenge to train believers throughout India to go and preach the gospel to the lost and to heal the sick as Jesus commanded in Luke 10 verse 9 when he said, Heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of God has come near to you. Through every one of our evangelistic feeding events held every month, hundreds are reached for the gospel. We go into mostly unreached Hindu villages where people have the opportunity to hear the gospel for the very first time and then are fed a meal. We provide for the physical needs of people by feeding them and ministering miraculous healing for their infirmities as indisputable evidence that Jesus is the Messiah. We then plant house churches in each of those unreached villages and appoint and support a pastor for each of the house churches. Our ultimate goal is to train one million workers to go out to remote unreached places in India and in other unreached regions of the world. We take to heart what Jesus said in Matthew 24, 14 and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. We would like you all to be part of what God is doing in India during these last days. God is so faithful in bringing people unto himself, but it is up to us as disciples to go and preach the gospel to all nations. Partner with us in the work of spreading the gospel to all nations.